This is hydrochloric acid versus muriatic acid. What's the difference? Which is better? I am 303. Thank you for watching. Warning. Be careful with acids. So on the left here, I have a solution of 2 molar hydrochloric acid. I've almost used all this up making videos. So I had to get some more hydrochloric acid and I decided to get a gallon of transchem muriatic acid. You can see it says 20 Bome hydrochloric acid 31.45%. I've used this brand before and here's the material safety data sheet. You can see it says hydrogen chloride 25 to 35% by weight. Hydrogen chloride or HCl is a gas at normal temperatures. When it's added to water, it becomes the hydrochloric acid we're familiar with. When it's labeled as muriatic acid, it's usually intended to clean concrete or reduce the pH in swimming pools. And of course, by nature, it has many other applications. There are so many different types of commercially available hydrochloric acid that it can be confusing especially since they're often labeled different. They have different grades, they have different names. In this example, the technical grade says 2 molar hydrochloric acid, but it doesn't say anything about BOME or percentages. The transchem says muriatic acid in big letters, and then it says BOME and a percentage of hydrochloric acid under that. So let's see how they compare with the paper pH test. Looking at the results quickly, it looks like they're both about the same. They both quickly turned a fairly dark red. So we have 20 milliliters in each of these beakers with the technical grade on the left and the muriatic on the right. And we're going to add these two almost identical aluminum can pull tabs to each of them. Forgive the camera adjustments here, but I wanted to show this in real time uncut. Right about here, you'll notice that the muriatic is starting to have a very vigorous reaction, while the technical grade is hardly producing any bubbles so far. Because hydrochloric acid is just hydrogen chloride gas and distilled water, it is easier to make sure that it is relatively pure compared to other solvents. Sometimes in the production of muriatic acid, they actually add impurities like iron to make it react faster than it would if it had no impurities in it. I chose this transchem because Usually, it has less impurities than other muriatic acids. The Bome scale is a degree of specific gravity, basically like a liquid density. We're not going to compare specific gravities in this video, but we do know that the technical grade says that it's 2 molar. And one difference between muriatic and the technical grade is the technical grade says it's 2 molar. So it's probably pretty close to 2 molar. Whereas you saw the MSDS for the transchem and it said, oh, it's somewhere between 25% and 35%. 10% one way or another is a pretty big difference. A 2 molar solution means there's 2 moles per liter. Wow, the aluminum is like almost all gone in the muriatic acid but it seems like the technical grade hasn't even started yet. One mole of hydrogen chloride equals 36.46 grams. So that means in a liter of the two molar solution, there's just a little over 70 grams of hydrogen chloride gas added to the water. So that means the concentration should work out to about 7%. So we're comparing a 7% concentration 
in the two molar technical grade to a somewhere between 25 and 35 percent concentration in the muriatic acid. So that was all played out at normal speed, but now I'm going to speed it up. So obviously the muriatic acid dissolved the same piece of aluminum a lot faster than the technical grade did. Does that mean that the muriatic's better? Well, if your goal was to dissolve aluminum faster, then in this case, I would say yes. But in some cases, you might need to know the specific concentration that you're working with. And in that case, the technical grade would be a little bit more close to exact than the muriatic acid. And now you can see the aluminum is starting to have a good reaction in the technical grade. I will post Amazon affiliate links to both of these acids so you can compare prices and see if you would like to order one. Because different areas have different restrictions on acids, I don't know if they will be able to deliver to your area. If you click the links and check them out, even if you don't buy anything, I'll still get credit for it. And if you want to help me out in that way, I appreciate it. Because the hydrogen chloride is a gas, and the water will only hold so much gas at room temperature, about the highest percentage of hydrochloric acid you can get is about 37%. Anything higher than that would require cooler temperatures to make the gas more concentrated. And then if the solution gets warmer, the gas will expand and it could cause enough pressure to rupture your container. Long ago, I had an unopened container of hydrochloric acid stored in a shed that would often reach temperatures of about 120, 130 degrees Fahrenheit. And the container actually split in half and got muriatic acid all over the shed. And 130 degrees Fahrenheit is about 54 and a half degrees Celsius. Keep in mind that there are many different concentrations available of hydrochloric acid all the way from as low as about a half a percent up to about 37 percent like I said. And there's also very many different grades. There's food grade, there's pharmaceutical grade, there's even what they call a cosmetics grade. The technical grade's taken forever, so I'm just going to dump the muriatic acid into it to try to finish off this piece of aluminum. The ACS reagent grade is the highest standard of purity and exactness and concentration. But remember that purity and concentration are not the same thing. I don't know if you noticed, but I added another can tab while I was talking about the reagent grade and now it's getting dissolved. Okay, so the aluminum's finally done, and so am I. The end.